We are lightening the load today, but not the intensity. It's full body shred. This workout is gonna be focusing on higher repetitions, so duration is 50 seconds with a 10 second transition. This is also gonna not work on strength, but we're gonna be focusing in on steady state cardio. There are three blocks of work. Each block has 12 movements. We're gonna be focusing on lower body section first, using that moderate weight, then go into upper body, working those arms, the back, and the chest. That last block is gonna be cardio and core and just kind of finish you off. Equipment for today's workout is a variety of weights. My lowest is gonna be 10, the highest will be 20, a mat, and your amazing body. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you not miss any workouts. If you want more content, over 200 additional workouts, make sure you click on that join button below because you can get access to all that and more instantly. Roll your shoulders back, open up those feet. We're gonna be squatting with a swing back. Drop, and then pull your elbows to your back pockets. Really open up that chest. We're not okay. I look into your eyes and see you fade away. You can also spread those fingers. But we're not the same. In like your squat, drop that butt down as low as you can. Way. Press into the heels. Somehow we got you. Alternating knees with a little punch. So you're twisting to that leg that's driving up. Now today's workout, we got 50 seconds of effort with a 10 second transition. So we're not gonna be on that super heavy side, kind of moderate load today. We got alternating lunges to the side. Take it to your right side, sweep it around, and then step over to your left. Sweep that arm. So big arm reaching to the ground and then all the way up to that sky. We're gonna be doing a walkout, so we're gonna face that garage, come to the back of the mat, round down, and just take your time walking to a plank, and then hold, lift that front leg up, back leg lifts, and then walk it back, bending the knees, rolling up, reaching up. And then add that leg lift. I'm tired of feeling blue. It's good to be able to get off that ground. We're gonna stay, give me a push up, down dog. Shift forward into that plank, push up, knees or toes. One more push up if you're there, and then down dog, walk it back. Roll it up, reach it up. March or jog, your choice. We're gonna be thinking about the first movement. It's gonna be a lunge back. Block one is all focused lower body. Alternating those lunges to the back. I'm gonna use 20 pound dumbbells. All right, twist that waist. Grab the weight that you feel that you need. I'm gonna get my timer set. And if you want to, you can always make it front lunges, but today we're gonna to do a back lunge. Set that weight up. You guys ready to go? I am ready for this workout. I do have 20s in my hands. Roll the shoulders back. I'm gonna start with my right leg back. And then switch. Now remember, 50 seconds can feel awfully long. So take your time in the movement. Get the range of motion. Keep your feet separated. And if your floor allows you, 
Your knee can kiss the ground. Take a moderate load. Make sure your shoulders are rolled back. Arms are relaxed. And you brace that core. You keep it tight in that midsection. We have a dumbbell swing. I'm gonna use just a 20 pound dumbbell. Opening up the feet. You hinge forward, push the weight front. As you drop back, keep your eyes looking out in front. And I'm holding on to the head of my dumbbell. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift it up. Press your heels. Goblet squat. I'm gonna keep my 20. Have the feet not too wide, but turn them slightly out. Dropping down, elbows towards your thighs. Press up. And again, go at your pace. Get a good range. If you feel like you're not getting low enough, you can always open the feet up a little bit more. You got some tightness in your hips. Press through the heels of your feet. I think we got the beat, right? Just kind of happens, right? It's amazing what music can do for you. Kazak squat. We're going to open the feet up wide, keeping that dumbbell. You shift over to the right, come center, and then shift over to your left. Shift, center, left. You're trying to drop as low as you can. If you need to do this without weight, you can. Keep your chest open, eyes are lifted. Pause while you're there. Inhale, you lower. Exhale, you're up. I'm going to be dropping it to 15 pounds in each hand for a split squat with my right leg. Right leg is forward, left leg is slightly back. I'm gonna turn my back foot out a little bit. Squat down. So we're not in a lunge position. I have my leg kind of a kickstand. And I'm gonna let my knee touch the mat. So we're going into single leg. Get steeper. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise up. If your weights are on the lighter side, you can always pulse. That can increase the intensity without changing the weight. All the force is coming from your right foot. Just a little kickstand on that left. the other leg. So roll your shoulders back. Get yourself set up. Turn the other foot out a little bit into that. So again, my back foot is a little turned out. So you're picking something off the floor. 
really using your legs. Out your low back. And you can drop your butt beyond the knee. Turn to the side, right? And bending, keeping the chest open. into a deadlift with a lunge to the back, alternating those lunges. We call it an RDL. I'm gonna go back to my 20s. You hinge first, and then we'll step the left leg back. Hinge, left leg back, lunge. Hinge, press through the heels. All right, you wanna feel a stretch when you drop, and then press the heels to rise up. Relax. You're coming up next. Really put that focus on the legs here. I'm going to drop to 15. One squat, clean. Then you squat with the weight of the shoulders. So hands down by your thighs. Squat, bring the weight up, squat once, let the weight go down. This is my clean, that's just a squat. When you're pulling the weight up, right, I'm gonna ha, come from the core. You can make that noise. Always just your feet. We're starting with the weight at the shoulder. Squat first and then drop again in the squat for a thruster where you push the waist to the sky. Waist to the shoulders, squat once. Now squat, thrust, push. From the bottom, press. Pause, please. Power. So again, I want the power from the bottom, push it up. So it feels like the legs do majority of the work versus the arms, legs and core. We got a lateral lunge to the right. I'm gonna do one 20 pound weight, hold it in my chest, or actually behind the head. We'll go one lateral lunge to the right, front lunge, with the right foot. Now if a front lunge is tough for you, you can do a back lunge with your left. Make sure in your lunge, heel toe it. Go for it. Bend the knees, push off. We've got continuous movement in this workout. So not only are you getting get, get some strength, steady state cardio. All right, switch sides. You go lateral lunge to your left, front lunge, or you can take it to the back lunge. Lateral lunge, front, or switch legs. Left leg goes, stays.
and in the lateral lunge, if you go and angle back a little bit, hey, that's okay. It doesn't have to be straight to the side. Let it work for your body. And it's good to put the weight in different places versus always the same place. So holding it up here can help you with the range and your core engagement. All right, no weight, body weight. One squat and then one jump. Or just stay with air squats. Shoulders back, one squat, one jump. Or you stay with right here. But give me a good range in that squat. Maybe you try to power up more. Great job. Get some water, hydrate, and we're gonna come into block two. So that block is over. We're gonna focus on upper body, starting with a right arm snatch. Weight can be down in front. I'm gonna use a 15 pound dumbbell. Again, because I'm not gonna go super heavy because it is 50 seconds. If I had a shorter duration, I would definitely go heavier. Okay, one arm is out, we got just the right hand. Pick it up, snatch it to the sky. Now, if you want more out of this, let it drop for a second, then pick it up. But if it's too far for you to touch the ground, then you almost like squat. Push the hips forward. We already did some stuff that's similar to this. That dumbbell swing. But again, if you have a heavier weight, let it drop for a second, then pick it up. That's actually harder when you have to start from the bottom. I don't know you guys like hard stuff, right? When you pick it up from the ground, brace your core. We're gonna be doing the other side. And I always tell you, try different things, test it out. We got that left hand, starting at the bottom. Snatch it up. The weight stays close to the body, so watch that precious face. I'm letting mine drop down, picking it up. When you drop down, eyes look out in front of your mat. So you keep a neutral spine. We have an upright row to a shoulder press. I'm gonna use my 12 and a half. Opening up the feet in a sumo position here. You pull the weight up, and then you press it to the sky. Down, up, push. If you don't wanna add the legs, you don't have to add the legs. I like the legs. But you gotta make sure that they're wide enough. Your dumbbells don't hit them. In an upright row, keep it tight to the body. We have a row starting at the top. 
I'm gonna keep my 12 and a half. So we're gonna drop the chest, weight start at the top. You're gonna let the right arm reach forward, and then the left. You're pulling to your hips, so start at your hips, elbows pull in, reach right, then left. Now, I have an idea that some of you are letting your weights touch your body and kind of rest there. Don't let it rest. It can touch the body, just like barely, but don't like hold it up against it. That's how your body knows how to make it easier. Remember, I'm reaching, pulling to the hip. Keeping the elbows tucked in. Sit your back and go almost completely flat to the ground. We have bicep curls coming up next. Great job. I'm going to go into 15 here. I might regret that. You could do palms up if you got lighter weights. You could do a turn. I'm going to do palms up. And you can vary this too, right? If you want to you do one wider. Have a little softness in your knees. Your wrist should be straight. If you start to feel it in your forearm, check your wrist out. Gloves are always a great option too to wear. That can help you out with your strength training, your grip. We have that deadlift coming with two rows at the bottom. I'm gonna keep my 15s. So you're gonna be hinging forward, row for two, and then rise up. Push your hips back, pull this to like hips, rise up, Baby, yeah, push back in the hips, hold, push in the heels, rise up, and you could turn your hand grip too, you, we could have the hands face you, that would make it feel different, I like different, don't you? and we're different, that helps us out. We have a chest press with the feet on the floor and the hips up and bridge. I'm gonna use my 15s and then have my 12 and a half near for the fly. So on your back, hips up for chest press. Press all the way up and down with those hands. Knuckles up, wrist is straight. Press through your heels, squeeze your glutes. Women, pelvic floor, engage it, make it tight. You can work that pelvic floor along with your arms here. So I'm gonna be decreasing my weight on the fly just for the shoulders to be safe and get my range. All right, so we have chest fly. I'm gonna go 12 and a half, start at the top. Hips again are up. Keep the hips up as you open the arms out to T. Squeeze in. And you know, if you want to do any kind of movements with your hips or your legs, you can do that. That's up to you. When we have our hips up and bridge, it gives us this feeling of an incline press and an incline fly. A feeling. <laughs> it's not like a guarantee. Once we're done with this, we're gonna come on to our shoulder facing you, our elbow. No weight. We have 
of a side plank. Knee can be down or you can be in a complete side plank with the stacking of the feet. We're gonna drop the hip and lift the hip. Okay, so hip drops, hip lifts. Now remember, you have the choice. You can drop your knee. I like stacking my feet. All right, we're getting shoulder. We're getting that core. I'll show you the deep transverse abdominals. Obliques. Job. All right, swing it around to the other side. Same thing. Get into that side forearm plank. You have those options. You could be on stacking, or again, drop the knee. You could even just hold it. You don't have to move, too. You could just stay there. Strength and stillness. Movement, or you can stand. We got overhead extensions for the triceps. I'm going to use my 12 and a half. One hand, each of them, each hand has a 12 and a half on my knees. All right, weight is up. Bending at the elbows, drop, press it up. So the elbows can kind of go wide and then they go narrow. Do what you want to, please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you. Both speed and my heart is pacing, but I'm not sure I wanna pace it, cause it only We have one this more move you. after this. Do that rear delt fly. Really been working on that movement. Let's just let our bodies be true. Make out for the thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end For the thrill of it oh, it I can do Alright, we're going to be standing up on the feet I'm going to go to 10 pounds each Rear delt fly Drop the chest Pinch between the shoulder blades Dramatic pause, maybe the top, and then let it go with control. Keep that arch in that low back. Look out in front. Different. You ever do that? Without regrets, girl, put your faith in me. All right, well deserved break here. I hope you're feeling that. Take a break, towel off, drink your water, keep hydrated. We're gonna go into that last block, you guys. This one combines elements of some cardio and full body movements. Whew, get water, and we're gonna come back into a plank for push up. Down dog reach. Go ahead and make sure that you are ready to hit the plank with that push up, knees or toes, and then down dog reaching front hand to the back ankle. Chest to elbow height, hips up, reach for that ankle, back into your push up. Using the upper body and the core to move here. Make sure you're trying to touch 
touch and pause for a moment. Maybe you almost grab your shin. Versus just tapping it for that brief second. on your back, tuck the knees in towards those shoulders, and then press the legs out. Hands can be behind the head. Tuck knees in, press legs out. knees toward the shoulders and then low press out. We do have a side plank. You're going to be on your hand or you can be on your elbow. Either on your hand or your elbow, the top leg is going to be lifting up and down. So it takes a lot of focus. So lifting the top leg up, option, it can be on your knee, and be lifting the leg, or on your elbow. You do you, you do your best. you're still moving. Sometimes we give up when we get challenged. All you have to do is just bring your knee down to the ground. Don't give up. You find a way that you can do it. So call me on a, call me on a late night. Tell me you could, tell me you could come by. Just got on me, just got on me tonight, tonight, tonight. Ooh. See, those shoulders are on fire too. Get yourself stacked up into that side plank, lifting the leg. So remember, I can do. What can I do? Even if it's fewer repetitions. Cause this is start to, this is just starting to get more challenging now. We got a couple more moves to really push you. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. some fire now we're gonna climb that mountain Woo. shake out your arms so you can be on your elbows if you need to all right you can go slow you can go fast you can be on the beat well this is gonna suck suck so good come on <laughs> close your eyes grateful that you are free to move your body, right? Can't be in plank, you can be up, moving those knees to the chest. Burpees happening next. Ooh. Can you bring your stomach all the way down to the ground of that burpee? Hands will go down. Jump back, stomach to the ground. Press yourself up and hop in out. You can even do a super if you have the room. Ten seconds. 
can march it. We're running it. Come on, high knees up. How you doing? Doing good? All right. We are sweaty messes today. A little humid here. We have like zero breeze. It just rained. I want to pump them up. You got two minutes of my time. Squat jumps coming up. Now don't really break too easy. But I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into the dream. Ready, squat jumps if you want to. We're gonna block the shot. All right, use the arms. Sometimes we like the arms go down. This time, arms are gonna go up. Take a little swing, bring it up. Load the springs in your legs, or you do calf raises. Drop your butt back. You constantly look upward. Waist in when you're dropping back. Like the inhale. On your back, look at the sky. Woo! Kicking the front leg, reaching for the shin, only the right leg. Kick and reach. Right leg, front leg. And if you can't come all the way up, then you really kick the leg and reach for it. Try to go a little more leg. Can you touch that shin for a full one count? Then come down. And I'm interlocking my thumbs. All right, back leg is gonna kick. We're gonna reach for it. Reach the arms back. Hold the abs in at this point. Don't super arch. Okay, reach. Use your exhale. I didn't make you sweat, didn't I? Woo! We're breathing heavy in the back here. We're gonna be on all four next for beast kick through. Rock yourself up, come to all four. We're gonna take that back leg, kick it through to the front. Give me some high fives. Really kick it through here. Knees off the floor, kick through. Hold beast for a moment, then kick through. That leg kind of goes forward and up to the corner. So give it a little lift up there too. Hip goes down toward the ground. Leg goes up. You can always just stay in beast if you need to and work on that. This not only gives you strength, but mobility movement. Another burpee, using weights. We call this the double press. Hands go down, jump the feet back, then you swing the weight up. I'm gonna go 12 and a half. 
You can always just squat. Waist go down, jump back, jump in, swing it up. You have to control the movement. If it's too much for your back, just pull it in. back is sensitive. Pull the weight down towards your body. If it's not so sensitive, you can swing it down with control. get high tens now. That was awesome. Woo, that gave you 36 minutes of work. Nice job. Walk around for a moment, get some water, towel off, and then we're gonna come back. Woo, we'll stretch you out. Nice job. Celebrate those wins you guys. Yay for you. I'm proud of you. Come down on your right knee. If you need something underneath it, go ahead and fold up a towel or double up your mat here. <sighs> Foot is right in line with my hip here. This is in one of the, my mobility routines that you see. So we're gonna stretch into this. Put your elbow into the knee, stretch here. All right, so I want you to anchor your elbow into the knee. Push it open, open up your chest. Focus on your breath. Look up a little bit. Now this elbow's gonna go down, so you're gonna sit backward. Elbow goes to the ground inside that knee, and I open up in the other direction. You can always pull the other foot in if you need to. But think of that leg that we were pushing open earlier. Push it back a little bit. Breathe. All right, come on up, let's do it again. So reposition, elbow in, side stretch. All right, spread your fingers too. down, right, lean back. Let's do one more of these. You're coming up, lift up, and open. Give it go arm down, right, you can switch it up. All right, shift it back, open up. And then release, all right, come on to your knees. I know we're on our knees a lot here. Camel. Hands can either touch or go to your hips, either touching the heels, you're gonna open up the chest. And then reverse this, sink in child. Press up, open up in camel. So again, I'm gonna open the chest up. And then back into child, we'll do one more though. So reach out. Take it back into your camel. Open up. Child. Step out your right foot. Into that stretch, your elbow into the knee. Open up, side stretch, open. Really open up your chest here. And I do like to take my time in the stretching sections that we have here, so I know usually most people are three minutes. We usually do like five, don't we? I think it's so important. It gets more to your workouts the next time you come back. All right, let's shift back. Oh, I just heard a big click. Open up. Shift into that leg, knee, elbow open up. And for women, we have so much tightness in our hips, so we're doing a lot of hip openers here. Take it back. I like to push my elbow into the ground and into the knee. Really twist open. One more time each direction, right? Keep the length. Shift it back. And hurry. 
release. All right, come on your back. Let's go on the back here. Get off those knees, right? Hug the knees into your chest. Back leg is straight. Let's do hamstring stretch. Grab the leg. She's awake all the time. What are you trying to find? Roll your ankle. And then see if you can pull the toes down. Grab with your hand, pull your toes down, and then let it go. Point the toe. One more time. Pull the toes down. And then let it go. Lean to the chest. Drop it across the body. Tease the back arm. Cause I'm running with these same emotions. All right, let's switch the legs. So pull the knee in for a moment and then switch front leg in, leg up, hamstring. You can roll the ankle. Grab the toes. Point them. One more time, grab. Chest, drop it across the body. Up for more on the line, through a fall in the night. No, I'm here by your side. So tell me where are you now when your head is in the clouds? Bring the knee to the chest, hug both knees into the chest here. We're gonna rock up for butterfly. So rock up, feet together, knees open, grab the toes, lift up the chest, and then drop down. Take your hands back behind your shoulders and then open your feet up about the width of your mat. 90-90 drops. Let the knees chop to the front and then to the back. So again, my feet are the width of my mat. One more front back. Center. Rock yourself on up to standing. Big inhale, reach it out, reach it up. Hold at the top, reach it back. Pull it into your heart center. One more big inhale, having that attitude of gratitude here. Grateful to this amazing body for all that it just did. Let it out, woo! Yay for you, oh my gosh. That was such a great workout. If you enjoyed the workout, thumb it up. Make sure you comment below, share it with a friend. Work out with your friends. Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Diane. You get another one. You get another high five too, because you made it through. And again, we will see you. I'll see them guys. I know for sure they're coming back tomorrow for the next workout. You guys will see you on that mat. Take care. Oh.